Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Vienna International Convention regarding the diplomatic relations. You know why we are discussing about this particular issue? In the context of India and Canada. Before we go further details, first let us see the theme of the day. You know that as prelims is approaching, we are discussing a particular theme of the day and I am explaining how to approach to that particular theme and if any questions are available then we are examining the both prelims as well as mains on that particular theme of the day. Now regarding today's theme of the day is international conventions and declarations. When you are approaching anything regarding the international conventions or declarations you have to check following things such as you have to check the objectives of that and whether India is a signatory or not, whether the India is ratified or not, whether India is a member of that or not or that convention is related to what? related to environment. If environment means related to ozone depletion or related to persistent organic pollutants or what? So you have to know a particular convention and these facts so that at least you would be able to answer prelims questions by doing the elimination techniques. Now let us see one question. The Fortaleza declaration recently in news is related to the FIs of C. Here they are testing, they are giving the de they given the declaration and they are asking you this declaration is related to what? This is a basic idea. So the answer is BRICS. But forget about the answer. So how the questions are framing that is our matter of concern. Now today's video is all about now. Let's see. Today's video is about the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Why we are discussing this particular issue? You know students Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, he made a few remarks few months, I mean couple of weeks back that Hardeep Singh Nazir, okay, who was a pro Khalistani militant, he was being assassinated in Canada and Canadian Prime Minister was alleging that Indian agencies were behind that. Of course, India rejected that claim. In the context of that, there were, you know, like uh, uh, mutual criticism happened between the two nations and India recently announced that China is have, I mean, this Canada is having excessive number of diplomats in India and we want to, so we want to take away certain diplomatic immunities given to this excess number. Okay. In this aspect, India quoting the Article 11 of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. That is the reason, as an aspirant, you have to know what is this Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and why India quoted the Article 11 that you have to know regarding the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. The thing is, India you know, not India is announced that they are not, prov not providing diplomatic immunities to certain number of um, diplomats. In response to that, Canada announced that they are withdrawing all their Canadian diplomats from India. Okay, That is also very uh, aggressive or very thoughtless action from Canada, we can say that. Okay, Because India is having justice in its point of view because when India is having, for example, 20 Indian diplomats in Canada, Canada also should have the same number, equivalent in number. But Canada is having excess number, not only that. Canadian diplomats are involving in the internal affairs of India. For example, they are involving in the Khalistani related issues that is unacceptable to India and India is seen as that is interfering with India's sovereignty. That is the reason we flagged this issue a couple of times and still we did not get any reply from Canada. So India decided that we are, we are, you know, like not giving diplomatic immunities to these people. In response, as I said earlier, Canada decided to withdraw all the diplomats from India. So as we are discussing the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, first you have to know where is this Vienna. Obviously Vienna is present in Austria. If you look at here, Austria is sharing borders with countries such as, if you come from clockwise, you know like Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary and Slovenia, Italy, Germany, Czech Republic. These are the nations okay, which are bordering to Austria. Then we'll see the syllabus mapping. After that, we'll go through the video components. Regarding the syllabus, to, syllabus mapping, this particular video is related to gender studies paper to that is international relations, particularly India and its bilateral relations. Regarding the video components in this video, we are going to discuss about why it is in news. This particular topic, Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, VCDR from now onwards, we'll call this as a VCDR. Why the VCDR in news? Already explained about the VCDR and why it is in news. 1961 VCDR, okay, that means how it got into implemented features of this convention 
impact of this convention, how this convention was able to de-escalate the Cuban Missile Crisis, as well as the when Iran went for war, okay, how this convention helped to Americans, challenges with this convention, various Vienna conventions. We are going to discuss these various Vienna conventions at the end of the video. That means there are list of conventions which are named after Vienna. Of course, they are not essentially related to diplomatic relations. They are related to some other aspects as well. But you have to know what are the various Vienna conventions. And finally, we draw the conclusion. Now, let's see why it is in news. As I mentioned earlier, I give in the context, India-Canada crisis that led to 41 diplomats were withdrawn from the country. Canada decided that. And India said that whatever the decision taken by India, it is according to the Article 11.1 of the VCDR. What is this 11.1? The, the both nations, they have to maintain diplomats in a reciprocal manner, in equivalent numbers. Here, the country which is sending the diplomats to other country, that country is known as, you know, like sending country. Or the country which is receiving is known as receiving country. For example, Indian diplomats in Canada, India is a sending country and Canada is a receiving country, also known as host country. Okay. Now, the VCDR, this, the meeting related to VCDR, it was held in 1961 in Vienna, Austria. And it came into effective from 24th April 1964. And members, nearly all the member countries, all the countries across the globe, they ratified this one except a few countries. These exceptions are very important when they are few, especially Palau and South Sudan. These are exceptions. And this VCDR regulates following things such as establishment, maintenance, and termination of diplomatic relations on the basis of the consent between the sovereign nations. So more or less, this VCDR is going to cover broad range of diplomatic relations between two nations. It not only applicable to diplomat, it also applicable to diplomat, I mean, civilians who are working in the diplomatic mission. And if any military, uh, you know, like agency or military is under the control of the diplomatic mission, their military officials also will become under the VCDR. And this VCDR explains and they represents the particular state, for example, Indian diplomat, Indian diplomatic mission in Canada, they represent India and they protect that India's interest in Canada and they also promote the friendly relation between both India and Canada. So these are some of the functions of the VCDR. The security of the diplomatic mission and the security of the persons involved in diplom I mean this diplomatic mission, that is the responsibility of the host nation. Host nation has to take all the suitable measures to protect the diplomats as well as diplomatic mission. And the diplomats who are working in the diplomatic mission, they'll get all the securities or all the, you know, like uh, immunities according to this VCDR. So that when they have that kind of immunity, they are able to function without any fear as well as the force in the host country. Okay. You know that when Deviani Kobragade was arrested in USA at the time as, as well, India invoked this VCDR as well, that she should not be arrested in a very biased manner. Next, features of the convention. First one is inviolability. This is dealt by Article 22. Inviolability means the diplomatic mission, wherever it is located, it will have all the sovereign powers. The host country should not enter into the diplomatic mission without the approval of the particular diplomatic mission. Okay, that you have to understand. Next, diplomatic immunity. Like I said earlier, diplomats, they won't be subjected to the local country, host country, criminal laws as well as the civil laws. Here, I have one question to you. Now, tell me guys, whether Article 14 applicable to diplomats or not. Whether Article 14 applicable to diplomats or not. Put your answer in the comment section. Next, freedom for freedom of communication. This diplomatic mission, they can maintain free communication without any interference from the host nation. And that the communication also should not be, you know, like decoded by the host country. They should respect the privacy of communication between the diplomatic mission and the, as well as the sending country. Non-interference in the internal affairs, like I said earlier, diplomatic mission is having the complete sovereignty due to the respect law and regulations, termination of diplomatic re relations. If two countries are not having good relations, obviously they can end the diplomatic relations as well. Recently, you know, like uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia, they announced that they are resuming the diplomatic relations after so long time. 
this was mediated by china and consular relations diplomatic relations is a core part between the two nations apart from that the additional supplementary relations are including consular relations as well generally consular relations they deal with the visa processing between the two nations people article 11.1 of vcdr deals with the both the host nation as well as the receiving state okay sending nation as well as the receiving nation they have to maintain the number of diplomats in a reciprocating manner if any country feels that the other country diplomats are very high in number then the host country has all the right to send them back to their original send them back to their original country other laws regarding the international diplomats not only the vcdr there are some other laws also there which regulates the diplomats such as international organizations like un and all these things important treaties and convention between the nations state sovereignty recognition of states customs diplomatic protocol bilateral agreement these are some additional things which will cover the diplomats and diplomats functioning if you look at the practical utility of the vcdr for example cuban missile crisis cuban missile crisis is all about ussr they stationed missiles in cuba and that was seen as a obviously aggressive step by russia towards usa this vcdr that means this diplomatic missions they were able to restore the communication between the usa and russia and that was able to avert the war between the usa and russia so we can see the practical utility of the vcdr here next iranian hostage crisis when you know like when iran subjected to this uh, attack or when iran subjected to the civil war at that time americans present in iran their life was secure because of the special protection given to these diplomats the challenges challenges relation to re related to vcdr sometimes this diplomatic immunity they been abused and they are interfering in the domestic relations or domestic matters like india is claiming some of the canadian diplomats they are involving into the indian domestic relations diplomatic crimes are increasing exploitation of domestic workers in the diplomatic missions like sometimes bonded labor and all these things disputes over the interpretation regarding the vcdr different countries are interpreting in different ways these are some of the common challenges facing by vcdr india and the vienna convention india acceded to this convention in 1965 and india enacted this as in the form of the act diplomatic relations act in 1972 that means india ratified in 1972 to implement the vienna convention next there are some other conventions which are named on the vienna for example this one already we are discussing this is the topic of the day vienna convention on consular relations vienna convention on the law of treaties like how the treaties should respected vienna convention on the protection of ozone layer recently i told you in the hindu kush region the quantity of aerosols are increasing okay related to environment and un convention against illicit traffic in narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances it is also based in vienna and these are some of the conventions which are based in vienna now it is time to look at yesterday's video question yesterday's question consider the following countries here few countries were given which among the above are nuclear weapon states as recognized by the treaty on the non proliferation of nuclear weapons according to this treaty which of these countries identified as nuclear countries if you look at so both china as well as france they identified as they identified as nuclear weapons states under the non proliferation treaty of nuclear weapons the answer is so this a one and two only now we'll see the today's question today's question is the formation of ozone holes in antarctic region has been a cause of concern what could be the reason for the formation of this hole so what could be the possible reason for the formation of ozone hole main question discuss importance of india canada relations in the light of recent controversy what is the significance of india canada relations this is the main question as we reach to the end of this video now let us revise quickly regarding what we learn in this video in this video we discussed about why it is in news that is why canada government decided to withdraw around 41 diplomats 
in that context we discussed about vienna consular vienna convention on diplomatic relations and we also discussed about according to this vcdr what kind of immunity is given to diplomats and diplomatic missions not only that we also gone through some of the specific articles of the vcdr and some other laws which covers the diplomats at the end of this video we also discussed about some of the conventions which are named after the vienna apart from that we also covered the bordering nations of the austria this is the detailed analysis regarding the vienna convention on diplomatic relations in the context of canada withdrawing their diplomats from india